So you must have heard about the fiasco at United Airlines. Basically, um, so United Airlines allows more people to book than the number of seats they have. So that's because they think they're going to be last minute cancellations. This time there wasn't enough cancellations, so there were four people extra. So they asked people if they would want you to get out. They offered them $400. No one said yes. They offered $800. No one said yes. So they decided that they were just going to do it randomly. Uh, so one of the people who was chosen was a doctor. He decided that he didn't want to leave because he said that he had patients who were waiting for him the next day and said that he couldn't say no. So they said that he had no choice and since he was overbooked, they, he had to go out. And so they basically called security and dragged him out. On the way out, he hit his head and he cut his head and there was a big drama about all that. So there are two sides to this. One, so one is that people will say that the, the United Airlines is wrong because they're the ones who created the rule. But the thing is, the, the guy, the doctor, was also wrong. But there's, a lot of people knew about this rule and a lot of people knew that United Airlines does allow more people to book. So he, even if you don't agree with the rule, you have to follow it. So the two sides to it. I personally think they're both wrong because how can you have a rule that allows you to kick people out of flight when they have things that they have to do the next day? But the guy was also wrong because he said no. He knew that there were no other volunteers, but he still said no when he should have just gone out without the soldier.